cry about it. Meeting in the valley. Oh. How did your audition go? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you think you're gonna get it? No, I'm probably not. I think there are to some big names on this one. Mm. No, you need to work. It's been two years. It's not been two years. The show was canceled in March. Nineteen months is not two years. Oh, well, yeah. Well, there's Forgive five extra me. months that you're Forgive putting in there. Forgive me. I did Jack's movie and write my script. Two weeks on your friend's movie that hasn't even sold yet, and you've written how many pages? So supportive. Thank you. Wow. Good. It's just that we're moving backwards. Wow. You can just find an opening and <laughs> What are we doing, Billy? Are you content to stay like this forever? Yes, Mel. I'm desperately content. That's a contradiction. And I'm 32. That's not fair, all right? We've been trying. <laughs> Once every couple of weeks is not exactly storming the beach in Normandy. <laughs> oh, you hear that, Private Ryan? Maybe we should see a specialist. <gasps> Come on, all right? I just, I, I, I really, I don't need any more pressure right now. Stop using your career as an excuse to wait. Stop using your age as an excuse to rush. Oh, really? What? Why, this humidity's killing me. I'll look like a deranged poodle by the time we get there. You look beautiful. You always have. Oh, you don't have to say that. But I always knew you had a thing for poodles. <laughs> you thought of a plan? <laughs> I didn't think we should stop for lunch. About our daughter. I can't believe she's doing this to me again. Well, maybe a little time at home would be good for her. No, she can't stay at home, Jeffrey. I, I won't make it, believe me. Find another school. There are no other schools. Uh, Nikki needs a mother. You know I've been sick. And you, you were never there for me to help me with any of our kids. All right, just calm I mean, down. you know, you were always working. You were working or you were drinking. Are you done? I'm a wonderful mother and she's a grateful little brat. Yeah, wonderful. You can't. <laughs> you can't put this on me. Just, it's not fair. Well, can we be honest just once? Billy and Ashley were grown up. You thought it would be so cute to have a baby to play with again. Like another straight puppy. I wasn't alone. Did I have a choice? Well, you want to give her back? Go ahead. I love Nikki. That's not the point. No, you're going to throw this in my face the rest of our lives. <laughs> I'm just saying, you wanted to play mother again? Well, now here's your chance. I didn't know she'd have so many problems. What the hell did you expect? <laughs> I wasn't appreciating hole seven today. Why? Because I know it's not me, it's the terrain. No, the terrain was fine. The terrain was not fine. No, you need to It's work. diagonal. It does whatever it wants. Yeah. It's like San Vicente, it just goes whichever way. There he is. All right, handsome, listen to this. Here we go. 
best story of balls. Last night, I'm in Avalon spinning. I'm killing it, right? But guess who rolls in? We're actually supposed to guess there's like 14 million people in Los Angeles. <laughs> Los Angeles. Look, all right, obviously it's somebody important. Jack off. It's not like I'm talking about Jorge, my gardener. Oh, Jorge's not cool enough to get into Avalon? <laughs> Jorge could be the coolest gardener on the planet. That's not the point of the story. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a point. Oh, please, continue. Oh, please, do that voice. Everyone finds it so charming. <laughs> okay. Check your sarcasm. Not the two of you. God, you guys need like a couples counselor or reality show or something. I would never do reality. Oh, yeah, standards. <laughs> Who knew? I, I would be a coach on The Voice, though. That show's tight. Thanks for sharing. Billy, humor me. Guess. Uh, Hasselhoff. Really? All right, fine. I'll just tell you, since you want to play it like that. Wahlberg walks in with a pack of honeys. Dude, Mark Wahlberg's married with, like, eight kids. Donnie. What? No, no. You can't just call him Wahlberg, man. That's misleading. Why? Donnie's not a Wahlberg anymore? Both sellouts. Let me finish. All right. So Donnie's chick comes over to the booth, slips me her digits on a napkin while he's not looking. <laughs> and then what? That's it. I'm going to call her tomorrow. I want my two minutes back. Your mom wants her waistline back. Get off my mom, because it just got off yours. Yeah, OK. Mom should not have albums called bikini photos. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Aunt Connie. What's wrong? Take a picture. No, it's not a good time, Susan. Are you serious? Hey, I'm just saying, when was the last time we were all dressed up together? We huh? can we can do it at home. Driver, I'm sorry, I don't know your name, but could you take a picture of our family? Yes, I mean, just press the top of it. It's really easy. Come on. Come on, everybody, get together. <laughs> Come on. Just smile. Welcome home. Oh, you look 20 years younger. I'm so sorry. Oh, Howard, he would be so happy you came. Well, of course I'm here. It was like a brother. You know, Jeffrey hated the firm the last few years. He knew he was being pushed out, and you, you didn't support him. You didn't stand Carol, up for him. Talk later. We always wondered yeah. why, you know? I mean, after all those years of friendship, what? Come here, come here. What? I think uh, you should lie down. Oh, my God, no. I'm so, I'm not tired. It's been a long day. Maybe you should rest. Oh, my God, you're so controlling. I just don't want this to get out of hand. Oh, you don't understand. This is my day. Everyone's here to support me today. <gasps> Tracy. Susan, I'm oh, so my sorry. God, oh, oh say... Carol, look. Look, it's Tracy. Remember Billy's Hi. girlfriend from high school? I always loved you. You know, you should have been my daughter-in-law. You know that? Oh, you guys were like a second family to me. You know that. Oh, you look beautiful. And I like your hair. It's lighter, isn't it? My father just died. Will you shut up and let him finish? You know, I've been your father's partner for over 20 years. I'm just here to help. Besides his life insurance policies, which will go to your mother, there's a special needs trust for Nikki. For Nikki. And what about us? There's nothing set aside for you specifically until your mother dies. 
course. How fitting. Your father left a million dollars to Nikki, and he named you and your mother trustees. A million? But you have to be careful with this money, Billy. It might have to last her a lifetime. Why, what's wrong with her? You really know nothing about her, do you? Mind your business, would you? You know, you were always a disappointment to them. Thank you, Connie. But you know what? You didn't live here. Right, you left and you never came back. No, I didn't leave, all right? I escaped. She's fucking crazy. She's not crazy. Your mother doesn't choose to be this way. She's fragile. Oh, really? Is that what they call it? Boy, you were always a difficult kid. Yeah, so I've been told. We need to discuss Nikki. Just put her in another boarding school. No, she deserves to be here at home with her mother. Under her care. My sister can handle it, and I'm going to be here to help her. There we go. Settle. You know, you should really try to get to know your sister. Seriously? I'm getting family advice from the Team Flake? That's nice. Well, I'm here now. Yeah, yeah, perfect timing, too. I was already out of the house when Mom got Nikki, remember? So, I mean, it's not like she's my real sister. Wow, that's a great attitude. Sorry, I speak the truth. You know, someone has to in this fucking family. One week after Jaden took his first step, he said his first real word. Besides Dada. <laughs> you won't believe what it was. Tax shelter. Oh, I would have been so proud. <laughs> pizza. His first word was pizza. Is that not hilarious? See, for the grandparents, yeah, that's pretty funny. <gasps> Shut up. <laughs> that is so cute. Hey, how is house hunting going? Oh, we found the perfect Mediterranean in Santa Monica, just north of Montana. That is a great neighborhood for kids. Yeah. Yeah, we're dying to move to the west side. Oh, what are you talking about? We live it up here. You can't raise a family in the hills. You're right, Mal. I see kids rolling down the hills every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really want Jaden to get into Curtis, and it's only five minutes away from the new house. Oh, are you guys on the waiting list? Since we got pregnant. Oh, then you should be fine, as long as the interview's well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good point. Well, whatever happened to public schools? <laughs> 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 Look at that. Where has that been hiding? Your husband is so funny. Hello. Hello, Billy. Hey. Nothing all right? Uh, no. I I'm gonna make this quick. Uh, your mother needs you to take care of Nikki. I thought you guys had that covered. I'm taking your mother to the hospital. The hospital for fragile people? This is serious, all right? She's, she's not well. Well, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Well, you're gonna have to because there isn't anybody else. Well, what about you? I'm, um, I'm going to Paris on a fellowship with this uh, wonderful photographer, so. Look, Connie, you've got an obligation here. I didn't have kids for a reason. Neither did I. Look, just take her with you. I can't. She's 11 years old. I'm going to be working all day. What about Ashley? That's, uh, that's unrealistic. This is unbelievable. I'm, I'm going to put Nikki on a flight. She'll arrive tomorrow. I'm going to email you all the details. God, how is this happening to me right now? Listen, let's just hope that your mother gets well, okay? See now. This is gonna be your next excuse. We are never gonna have a baby. Come on, it's only for a month. Will your mother put that in writing? She's on her way to the psych ward it's right about now. About time. Jesus. Listen to you. You're missing like a sensitivity chip she or something. She told your ex-girlfriend in front of everyone that she should have been her daughter-in-law. Oh, come on, she was grieving. Baby, I know you want to do the right thing, but this is not our problem. What am I supposed to do?
lot of shit for a 10-year-old. I'm 11. Oh, right. I called you on your birthday, right? No. Pretty sure I did. Hey, babe. We're so happy that you're here. How's your flight? Smelly. OK, well, um, I baked some peanut butter cookies. It's a secret recipe. Mm. Peanut butter makes me puke. What do you think of the house? It's cool, right? Small. It's 2,300 square feet. Congratulations. Um, will we, we have a pool? Do you like to swim? I didn't bring a bathing suit. Okay, you uh, wanna check out your room? Yeah? Whatever. Jesus, I can't believe how much shit this kid is on. 10 milligrams of Ritalin in the morning. 10 at lunch, another 15 at 4.30. And it's clearly working. And there's Zoloft, Seroquel to help her sleep, and Lamictal. My mother thinks there's a pill for everything. Okay, let's go to her. Did you drink the Red Bull? <laughs> I don't know where you get that shit. It's a fact. Caffeine supercharges your sperm. Oh, well, mm -hmm. if it's a fact. <sighs> this is sexy. <laughs> it's procreation. Yeah. This is nice stuff. I like the pattern. Thanks. It was a wedding gift. Thanks for inviting me. It wasn't a wedding for kids. I was nine. I could have handled it. Hey, hey. Happy Thanksgiving, girls. Hey. Are you serious? Look, don't make a big deal, all right? The entire city sold out of turkeys. And you can do better than the chicken cafe. You could have gotten a turkey yesterday. Uh, we were supposed to be at Andrea and Daniel's for Thanksgiving, remember? Well, yeah, I thought it'd be nice to do it here, you know? Just the three of us. Mm-hmm. Nikki, you want to come to yoga with me in the morning? Do you have any soda? No, we don't drink soda. Nikki, did you hear what I said? You don't want to take her to like the beach or something? No, I have yoga in the morning and then all day depots. Yoga would be good for you. She doesn't have to take me anywhere. I know I don't. Shit, wait, Nikki, your pills. At. Hey, don't talk to her like that. Charming kid. Don't let police stay in bed all day.
Yeah, one second. There's nothing to eat. I just said give me a minute. What are you, deaf? Get out! All right, we got pomegranate juice. We got green tea. We got, uh... Don't you have any normal food? Like cereal with chocolate or marshmallows in it or something? No, that's not food. All right, um... You know what? We'll do grilled cheese. Hmm? Kids like grilled cheese, right? Ugh, looks gross. What kind of cheese is that? It's soy cheese. It's good for you. I like the non-weird kind, the yellow kind. Well, look, Nikki, uh, I'm in kind of a rush today, so let's just do this quickly, okay? What are you rushing for? Because I'm busy, all right? I got work to do, and you know, when big people have shit to do, Stay here or you want to come with me? What do you want to do? I don't care. Bitch, not you. Make yourself at home, sweetie. Can I get you anything else? You're out of beer. Yeah? When'd you get back? Last night. Korshaba was sick. How's the snow? I didn't make it up the mountain. You live some life, man. Your great-grandfather would be so proud. Yeah. You wanna go hit some balls? Uh, dude, I can't. I got the... Those idiots forgot the Captain Crunch. Yeah? I'll call my attorney. Who's this? Oh, JG, this is my sister, Nikki. You never told me you and Ashley have a sister. Yeah, I did. I did. It's not like I told anyone about you. You're a moron. Okay, I will not be talked to that way. I'm from a great bloodline. Can you give me an avocado? Hi. Yeah, this is Billy Presser. I'm calling about my little sister, Nikki Presser. Yeah, my, my aunt already submitted her application. I'm just checking on the status. Yeah, I'll hold. I'm not trying to fight with you. She's not dangerous. She's 11 years old. And those charges were dropped anyway. Well, she's got to go to school somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. There's nothing. What did you do? Kill somebody? I almost took a girl's eye out at the last one. Like the Al Capone of boarding schools. Who's Al Capone? Is he another one of your creepy friends? Forget it. Why are you sweating so much? It's, it's nothing. Come here. Jesus. Come here. Your pulse is racing. Get off! 
I'm fine, okay? Worry about yourself. Fine, sweat it out, weirdo. Babe, have you seen my Cartier? Hey, have you seen a gold watch? Nope. I've had it since my college graduation. Are you sure you didn't pick it up or play with it? Why would I? Well, do you know where it is? I didn't take your goddamn watch. She's just so difficult. The kid's been neglected her whole life. Give her a break. She's a thief. Well, don't leave your jewelry lying around. <laughs> That's a great way to live. You know, I picked up her prescriptions today. 600 bucks. You paid for them? Yeah, I'll get reimbursed once I sort out her health insurance. What if you don't? I've got checks that draw against her trust. Start using them. King me. You suck at this. Oh, yeah? I mean, I'm not slow playing you. Drawing you in, making you feel overly confident. Whatever. This is not a game, though, really. Checkers is, I don't know, it's like a training tool for lab rats. A big, fat, white one with the pink eyes. Chess is a real game. Chess actually takes some skill and some thought and maturity, which is why I'm good at chess. I'm not good at this. You're clearly, you know, right at the target age for this thing. It's like eight and up. Don't go anywhere, hustler. I want my revenge. Hello? Billy, this is Dr. Pincus. I'm treating your mother. Yeah, how is she? I want to let you know that we are ready to do a series of 12 shot treatments, which has been successful in a number of our bipolar patients. Is she going to be all right? But there's also a strong possibility of significant progress. Do you understand? Yeah, 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 I understand. I'm gonna put your mother on the phone now. Uh, you might not be able to speak to her for a while. Billy. Hey, Mom. How you feeling? I need you to keep Nikki. What? No. No, Mom, I, I can't do that. Please take care of her. I'm so sorry. Wait. Wait, for how long? I never should have done that. Mom. Billy, uh, I'll, I'll keep you informed. Can't you take her by the school? My audition's all the way over at Fox. You can't be late for work just because you can't stand up to your mother. No, come on. This one's really important. Babe, I can't. Look, I need your help. And I need yours. It's like six. Hi. Hi, I'm sorry, what's going on? Uh, I'm Billy Presser, I spoke to somebody yesterday. 
like oh, the other day. Okay, so what do we think is happening right uh, now? This is my little sister, Nikki. I want to enroll her in school here. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, um, sweetie, what, what grade are you in? She was in a boarding school. She's 11. Okay, all right. So this is what needs to happen. You need to get her transcripts from the boarding school. Oh, her yeah, yeah, that's records. fine, totally. No, all no, good, no, all no, good, no, okay. Not. All right, we, I'm gonna she has see you to later. Take Magic placement beans right tests. back here, okay? Excuse me, we're uh, not done here. How many guys open? School ends at three o'clock, but that's not that's how perfect. this that's is fine, done. That's fine, that's fine, okay, three o'clock. No, it's not perfect. You have a good you time, have... you be good. Thank we, you so much. We, we can't I really appreciate take... this, I really appreciate this. She can't stay here until we're not legally allowed to take. Hi. You're in good hands, Mel. Dr. Wilson's the best. Yeah, I'm... It's not the doctor I'm worried about. I just... You know, I, I hope Billy understands. We started IVF and didn't tell Billy? We've talked about it. You're going to need him to make his little deposit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know, I just got tired of waiting. This is exactly the wake-up call Billy needs. Trust me. Girls want to hit Fred Siegel? What do you think? I have to go back to the office. Wow, I loved it. Thanks. Are you sure you're OK you didn't touch your lunch? I'm just a little nauseous. Oh my god, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. Oh my God. We haven't told anyone yet. We haven't even heard a heartbeat. And oh. I don't want to say anything. I know what you're going through. Oh, no. No, it's it's fine. It's totally fine. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. I'm really good. That's that's amazing news. Honey. No, really I'm so great. Sorry. No, oh my god, no. It's congratulations. That's so amazing. Oh, so no, sorry. oh my god, no, guys, it's great. Oh, it's so no, please, no, please. Love the hair. <laughs> hey. How'd it go? I've been sitting here for an hour. What? Shit. What's wrong with you? <sighs> Nikki told me about your situation, and I'm sorry. Thanks. But I am not running a daycare service here. You do not get to drop her off like that. Yeah, I get it. Okay, I get it. But she's in, right? Actually, I'm concerned about whether or not this is the right environment for Nikki. I pay $12,000 in property taxes for this district. Figure it out. <laughs> That's so not going to work with me. Sorry. Just the kid's been on my couch for a month watching TV. I mean, she needs to be in school. All right, I'm going to set up an appointment for her with Dr. Haleman. He's our school psychiatrist. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's seen enough shrinks already. <laughs> Even for the most well-adjusted child, this period in their lives can be very challenging. She's a tough kid. She's terrified. That makes two of us. What'd she say? That you're a charming young lady and they'd be happy to have you. Yeah, right. Doing an amazing job with that, by the way. Seriously, that's like some, some pro-level stirring. Wow, I'm just gonna put your mouth right on that, huh? Okay, yeah. It's more whatever that is. Cilantro? You like cilantro? Some people don't hey. like it. Hey, we're making veggie chili. I had a... A late lunch with the girls. Why are you using the Wedgwood? We needed a bowl. I didn't know it had a name. <laughs> hey. 
Everything all right? Do you need a hand? Look, I'm talking to you. My brother's too good for you. And one day, he's gonna leave you. She's sorry, okay? She didn't mean it. Everyone is living normal lives, and we are stuck here cleaning up your mother's mess. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> she hit me first. Nikki, shut up. <gasps> Ow! I can't do this. You have to choose, Billy. Don't make me do that. Sorry. I know. Me too. You gonna get rid of me now? No. no I wouldn't do that. died because of me. Look, what happened to Dad it was no one's fault. Okay, it was an accident. He sent me away. I have no one. You're not going anywhere. But what about Melissa? I ruined everything. Like a little wrecking ball. She had nice boobs. She had great boobs. <laughs>
They'll be back. I've been reviewing Nikki's uh, transcripts. Oh, well, I hope you're getting paid by the hour. And also her medical record. Yeah, that, that, that stuff's all fiction. She's fine. So have you been giving Nikki her medications as prescribed? Of course, that's your first question. Well, have you? She's fine. She doesn't need them. Well, that's hardly something for you to decide. Oh, oh, you think these diplomas on the wall make you the judge? Well, I mean, they certainly make me more qualified and objective than yourself. If you're so well qualified, why are you working in a public middle school? Boy, you are a wise-ass little punk. Listen, you will not take Nikki off of her medication on a whim. It's not a whim. Her heart rate went up to 150 last night. In, in order to do something like that, you would need the help, the guidance, and the support of a professional. You professionals are the ones that got her hooked on that shit in the first place. Don't lump me into any stereotypes, okay? No, look, look, you reviewed her transcripts, okay? Obviously, the drugs aren't helping. Obviously, you have no idea what she would be like without them. I know what I'm like without them. Yeah, oh, perfect gentleman. My mom pulled the same shit with me. It was Ritalin, and then antidepressants, and then mood Look, stabilizers. I don't know how to explain this to you, all right? But extensive study has shown that children with ADHD have different neurotransmitters in their brains. You know, for someone who doesn't want to be lumped into a stereotype, you're doing that to a lot of kids. Are you aware that her diagnosis also includes reactive attachment disorder, intermittent explosive disorder, as well as oppositional yeah. defiant disorder? Yeah, I get it. She's fucked up. She's fucked up. Hey, kid, what you doing? Nothing. Want some help? Just stupid math. Ah, uh, stupid math. I remember you. I want to change my hair. All the girls at school have nice hair. You got beautiful hair. You know what I mean. All right, yeah. I got a friend who's a great stylist. I don't want one of your friends. Oh, okay. All right, well, you know, she is the girl that does Jennifer Aniston's hair, but, uh, you know. Oh, you forgot to give me my pills today. Yeah, how long have you been taking them? I don't know. Long time. Because I was thinking that maybe we should wean you off. What'll happen? You'll be fine. How do you know? When I was in first grade, I got in this fight at school, and Mom flipped out. And she put me on Ritalin, when the only thing that was wrong with me was her. Well, how'd you stop taking it? I just did. And Mom let you? I didn't tell her. I should have thought of that. Oh, and another thing. No more cookies with a soda chaser. You're pushing it. Yeah? So are you. Back to your math. I think you look pretty now with that stupid hairstyle. Same lady who does Jennifer Aniston's hair. She's older than my mom. Leave me alone, you slut. Why don't you go back to your special school? Coke. <laughs> 
Give it back. Mickey is having trouble dealing with her frustrations, controlling her. And more importantly, I would like to know what you're going to do about that. So Nikki gets picked on by some bully and I'm the dick? No one is calling you a dick. Well, then how come the other kids' parents aren't here? You're looking at her. I'm Linda Girardi. I'm the bully's mother. You're a teacher and your kid goes to school here? Well, not everyone can afford to live in this district. Sorry. Shit. I gotta take this, just real quick. Hey, Marty. It was an emergency. Nikki got in a fight at school. We'll see if they can reschedule it. Look. Look, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you later. Okay. Bye. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. So how are things going at home for you and Nikki? My wife left me, but, um, you know, Nikki's great, so. I understand the situation you're in, but if you're gonna do this, then do it. What makes you think that I'm not? All right, look, I will talk to Nikki. Have you even noticed how talented she is? Like, she doodles a lot, if that's what you're talking about. Doodles. <laughs> that's a cute word. <sighs> yeah, let me guess. You're the art teacher. Clever. And you're an actor. Hmm? Right? He's an actor? Sometimes. He was pretty good on that show. What show? What are you talking about? Which the one? The one with the four guys that were really funny. Oh, I never saw it. I'm right here. Was it cable or network? Thanks for not ratting on me. I won't need that anymore. Just so you know. Thank you, Principal Jacobs. And um, I'll talk to Johanna. <laughs> Billy, could I have a word with you? Dr. Haleman told me what you're thinking about doing with Nikki's medication against his professional no, judgment. No, no, that has nothing to do with this. There are many students in this school who take Ritalin and Adderall, Billy. It helps them function better. Oh, really? Does it help them or does it help you? Am I in trouble? Don't worry, I took care of it. Mom, why are we still here? Because I'm just looking for something. Just hold your horses, okay? Um. I'm really sorry that I was so abrasive in there. Johanna just told me that she started the fight. No problem. Sorry, Nikki. Maybe we should get together sometime and discuss this further. Discuss Nikki's artwork. Are you asking me out? Mom, it's so embarrassing. Everything I do is embarrassing, boo-boo. You said it, not me. Call me. Can we just go home now? Smooth. Shut up. Hey, 
Hey, leave my stuff alone! You drew those? They're mine! What's the point of making them if you don't want people to see them? What's the point of saying you're writing a script when you're not? I write when I feel it. Well, I draw these for me. All right, well, they're beautiful. That's all I'm saying. Don't make fun of me. Why are you being so paranoid right now? Just don't touch my drawings. Hey. Fuck. Don't you ever knock? Why do you smoke so much pot? What are you, a narc? What's a narc? Look, I'll put a towel under the door next time, all right? I thought you didn't like drugs. Oh, come on. It's not a drug, okay? It's a plant. It's illegal. It's not in California, and that's bullshit anyways. You know, it makes you act pretty stupid. I have a license. If I'm quitting stuff, why can't you? Settled then. And then Joanna told me that Johnny Myers is so cute, but he just broke up with Nina, who says she doesn't really care, because she kind of likes Stone Feister, but he's like three inches shorter than her, so. Do you think Nina would be mad if I kind of like Johnny Meyer? All right, slow down. Who's this sixth grade player? Do I have to have a talk with little Johnny here? I'd kill you. Yeah. All right, hold on a second. All right, I'll see you later. Okay. Do you think Johanna's just messing with me? Get out of here. Hey, hey guys. Yeah, 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 all right. Hands are on your face again. You're holding out the weight before the show. For all the reasons that were wrong for you, now it's far away, you have to go. Say you want to leave behind the one that drew the line around your name If you try, if you try, you can surely find the same This one is stunning If this is over, if this is how you pull Talking anymore. Okay. You've been very honest with me lately. Is everything okay? Guess I'm just tired today. Mm hmm. Have you been sleeping okay? How should I know I'm asleep? <laughs> well, have you been taking your medication? Well, yeah. Yeah. All right, then, that's it. I'll see you next week. Ask your brother to come in, will you, please? Hello, Billy. Hello, doctor. I can't believe that you took her off her medication and now she's lying for you. I told you what I was doing. And I told you not to do it. Yeah, well, we're just gonna have to agree to disagree on this one. I'm not playing some game with you. I'm gonna write out these prescriptions and you're gonna get them filled or I am gonna take action. Oh yeah, because that is your business, isn't it? Yes, my business is to make sure that every boy and girl in this school functions as best he or she can. Uh -huh. And it's a lot easier teaching a school full of zombies, right? This debate is over. Don't you think we should just give Nikki some time? Nikki's doctors in New York City have impeccable reputations. And they only came to her diagnosis after careful evaluation. Well, I'm glad the doctors are being so careful with her because no one else seems to give a shit. Well, I do. You've only met my sister a handful of times. Your job is simply to get these prescriptions filled. Do you get kickbacks from the drug companies or something? I mean, what the fuck? Shoot it out. 
Not bad. We'll work on it later. All right. When we stand at the end of the mat, I'm going to go like this. Hands to the heart. Right? We say namaste. What? What's that? Nobody actually knows what it means. Okay, ready? And downward dog. Undo that button. It's too high. Yeah? I don't want to look like a slut. You don't want to look like a dork. <sighs> Ugh. <laughs> I hate dating. Johanna says her mom's really horny. Hey, you shouldn't talk like that. What else did she say? <laughs> A lot of other stuff. Yeah? Uh-huh. I'll bet, but... I'll get it. Yeah? Right. Hey! You gonna let us in? I haven't decided yet. You two ever babysat before? I mean, how hard could it be? You're like 11. Yeah, it's not like we're gonna be changing diapers, right? <laughs> we should probably confirm that. Yeah. You still wear diapers? What's your deal? We'll get her in bed by nine, all right? Read her, read her a story. We got girls coming over from Brentwood. Oh my God. This'll go down. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what is this, bro, bro. Cinco de Mayo? No, we just got some snacks. Yeah, no. All right, listen up, okay? No drinking, no smoking, nothing sexy or violent on TV, and watch the language. I really hope you get laid tonight. We got this. Uh, you need it. I need it. Should we give her warm milk? Like, what makes a kid go to bed? Half a vine, so. He has been promising her for weeks that he would take her to the Laker game tomorrow night, and she has really been looking forward to it. And what does the prick do? He calls me late last night after Johanna is asleep and he asks me to tell her that he is going away to Chicago on business. Oh, God. He doesn't even have the balls to tell his own daughter that he's blowing her off. What was that like? You know, just doing it all on your own. You tell me. You're doing it. I don't know if I'm doing it right. You never know. And sometimes you just have to fake it. Well, that's scary. Mm-hmm. Being a parent is the scariest thing you will ever do. God. I'm not a parent, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm her brother. Mm-hmm. Barely. Yeah, well, you just keep telling yourself that. Let me ask you something, handsome actor guy. What are you doing here? on a date with a 34-year-old single mother. Well, sexy, milfy, art teacher lady. Oh, um, I like that. I think I seem to remember that you asked me out. Remember? I mean, I, I thought this was gonna be, you know, a nice little innocent chat about art. Oh, yeah, well, sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that mix. This is me last Saturday night at High. The shit was tight. You hear that, Nikki? That's me scratching. The she doesn't know what scratching is, you moron. See, that's a problem. This whole generation, they don't appreciate the subtleties of vinyl. Yeah. Nikki, have you ever held a record in your hands before? Like a CD? <laughs> uh, no, exactly not like a CD. I just used my iPod. Fucking Steve Jobs. He killed music. You get arrested for saying that. Whatever. I never accepted his terms and conditions. So, is that all you do? Play music at parties? His family has a lot of money. He's overindulged. Yeah, and his family has no money. No flat screens. Big tube TVs with bunny ears on them. He's an idiot. Looks like you guys got it all figured out. Oh, isn't this cute? All the children in the pool. Are you still allowed to be here? Yeah, my name's on the deed. What's your story? Working. Yeah, I can see that. Where's Billy? I have to go to the bathroom. Mm. Don't leave us alone with her. At least she doesn't go in here like some people.
You're peeing right now, aren't you? Chlorine neutralizes it, so it doesn't actually matter how much. <laughs> is Billy on a date? You're on a strictly need-to-know basis. Yeah. We have to keep our loyalties. This isn't Game of Thrones, all right? I'm not going to stab my friend in the back. So if you're watching Nikki, then who's watching you two? Well, if you're a snake, how are you walking and talking? <laughs> <laughs> Be way funny if you're drinking with us. For somebody who hasn't been on a date in over five years, you're pretty good at this. Oh. What can I say? Like riding a bike. Let's see how you finish. I knew it. Hey, she's been in there over a half hour, man. She won't come out. Yeah. Hey, Nikki, it's Billy. Leave me alone. No, just come on, just let me in, okay? It's embarrassing. Please go away. You're dating already? She's Nikki's art teacher. Hi, I'm Linda Girardi. Nice to meet you. Nikki, come on. You don't have to be embarrassed with me, all right? Let me in. I I'm bleeding, Billy. Can I handle this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all you. Nikki, it's Linda. <laughs> I know what's going on, sweetie. If you let me in, I, I can help you. <laughs> what happened? Totally normal. Has anyone ever talked to you about this? No. It's called your period. And it happens to every girl. Is it gonna happen again? Every month for the next 40 years. Sick. I picked a great night to come by and pick up my stuff. Could have called first. I thought it was going to play out a little differently. How you doing? I think I overstayed my welcome at the Hammond Brits, but I went and saw this great apartment at Burton. So. Well, you know. Rush into anything. Why? Billy, you don't need me. You got a packed house in there. Sorry about the timing. Timing wasn't really our strong side.
Hey, there you are. I thought I was meeting you out front. Yeah, but I have a surprise for you. What surprise? Just come with me. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what's going on. Look, you're gonna like this, I promise. Come on. What are you doing? I want to go home. All right, look. I entered one of your drawings in the art show. How could you do that? Well, I, I just took one of my favorites out of your sketch pad. Those are private and you're a thief! Look, Nikki, you're just... Mm. You're so talented. I mean, you should let other people enjoy your and work. And you should stay out of my stuff! Oh, my God! All right. Oh, my God. All right, I'm sorry. Oh, Listen, my just... God. Whoa! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Look, uh, calm down. Oh why, God. Is there, why is this... Why is this... Why is this freaking you out? They hate me here. That's not true. That is not true. Is it? No, it's not. Listen, hey, listen to me. Listen to me. You're making a lot of friends here. I just want to leave. I, I just want to leave. Nikki, 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 Nikki. Shh. Listen to me. Listen to me. Look, this reaction that you're having, this is because you're coming off the medication. So okay, just, oh, stop. No, it's going to get know. better. It's going to get so much better. I promise you. Okay? Okay? Now listen, we're just gonna go for one minute. We're gonna go for one minute. Come on, come on, one minute. Take a deep breath for me. Take I a deep breath. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Nikki, it's gonna be okay. Come on, one minute. I promise you, that's all. One minute. You had no right to steal my drawing. You won. I thought you'd be happy. You were wrong. Hey, kiddo. You up yet? Thought we were going to the farmer's market. I'm just tired. Okay. Um... Well, how about this then? How about I'll go to the store and we'll make omelets? Sound good? All right, I'll be right back.
she took a bunch of pills. Is it my fault? Why would you do that? I don't know. You gotta talk to me, okay? Otherwise there's nothing I can do. I, I guess I'm just used to taking pills. We're changing that though, right? Your mom's right about me. Oh, oh she's not. You never wanted me. Dad loved you very much. Mom did the best that she could. I wish I knew him better. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Thanks. Just chill out, all right? She took Claritin and Tylenol. I warned you. Look, just don't overreact. No, you just shut your mouth for a minute. Listen, all right? You never filled those prescriptions. And I never will. Taking Nikki off of her prescribed medications can result in severe depression, suicidal tendencies. So what? So a heroin addict should just stay on heroin because the withdrawal might be unpleasant? Suicide is more than unpleasant. It wasn't suicide. Look, setting aside all your issues with Ritalin, why would you take her off her antidepressants? That's an entirely different issue. I think they're related. A five-year-old kid gets put on heavy narcotics, then becomes withdrawn, then the doctors say, oh, look, now she's depressed. And so where is your PhD? Where did you study? Fucking Google. So that makes you an expert? A lot of doctors agree with me on this. Wait, we could go back and forth about this all day, Billy. I'm a board-certified psychiatrist. I'm not gonna stand in the hallway of a hospital and have an argument with some actor. You can't evaluate her mental health while she's still withdrawing from years of being on these drugs. All right, you gotta give her a chance to come out the other side. How do you know she will? I know her. That's hardly reassuring. The drugs do nothing to change the conditions that actually messed her up in the first place. So you believe that this is entirely because of your mother? I believe that these drugs let everybody off the hook. Parents, teachers, politicians, you, everybody except the kid. Mm -hmm. And yet millions of children thrive on them every day. And they're individuals, all right? This isn't some mass diagnosis. Nikki is a person, and I know her better than you. I will call child services. And they'll hand her over to the state. That always works out. OK. Anything happens to that child, you are responsible. Yeah. And I'll take all the credit when she kicks ass. What are you watching? Breakfast Club. They're all just sitting around a library. It's a character piece. The dirty guy's cool. Yeah? <laughs> it's Judd Nelson. He was the epitome of cool. Where is he now? No, I don't know. Tough business. You know what I said? I never told anyone about you. I told everyone about my big brother. And I used to watch your show every week. Can I ask you something? What now? Your drawing from the art fair. You said that was of mom, but it doesn't look anything like her. It's my real mom. You never met her. 
That's what I imagine she looks like. All right, you know what? You and I, we're going out tonight. I don't feel like it. Nikki, listen to me. Trust me on this. We're gonna go out and we're gonna have a great time even if it kills us. Really? Oh yeah. You insist. Oh, I do insist. Yes, I do insist. <laughs> Let's go. Give me a drink, you bad. But you left me home behind. Left me home behind. Left me home behind. You left me. You left us. We don't like you. You left us. Take anything seriously? How am I supposed to take karaoke and two lookalikes seriously? You don't have to make us look like idiots. Hey, Bo, don't worry about it. There's no agents here. You don't know that. You guys are right there. <laughs> amazing. Incredible. I always knew the two of you had an amazing chemistry. Dude, that's a clown. <laughs> yeah, and he thinks we're headlining the Hollywood Bowl. It doesn't okay. matter, bro. Who's next? You guys? Yeah. I think the two of you? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Yeah. We can't be worse than these guys. Oh, really? Nope. Appreciate that. That's true. Yeah, let's see what you got. Come on. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is fun. Bobby, Bobby, you let me Bobby. Look. Hi, Billy. How are you? How's Nikki? Hold on. I, I can't hear you. One sec. This, this one. one. Oh, wow, it's great. I said, how's Nikki? <laughs> She's great. I can't thank you enough. I mean, you're a wonderful brother. Well, I appreciate that. How are you doing? I'm out of the hospital. Yeah, uh, Ashley told me that. That's, that's great news. Mom. Yeah, I feel wonderful. And I'm coming out to LA next week to bring Nikki home. How are you going to do that? Well, I got a room at the Four Seasons. I'll take you to brunch. Yeah, you know, Mom, that's, um, that's not gonna be necessary. Oh, don't worry, it'll be my treat. No, I mean, we got a really good thing going here, Mom, okay? Let's, let's not mess that up. You knew this was temporary. I'm okay now. Says who? What, I, I'm just supposed to give her back now? Uh, I don't understand this hostility. I know why you want her. I'm her mother. Well, it's not her fault. I'm taking Nikki home. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. I did over a hundred episodes. When are you gonna get good at this? Seriously, look at your man hands. Look, is, is there anyone else I can talk to? Yes, I'll hold. Dude, I've heard about this shit. You gotta call like a forensic accountant. The show could still be running in Romania or some shit. Dude, 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 no, 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 put that out. I told you no more smoking here. Why do you get the last hint? Don't be such a baby. Roll the dice. You're a baby. Yes. Yes, I will check back in after the first. Well, it seems the well has officially run dry. No more free money? Hey, you live off of free money, all right? I earned mine. Dude, I think I can get you some of that 1500 you lent me. What 1500 Remember from my deviated septum. Oh, you mean worst nose job ever? Fuck you, I couldn't <laughs> breathe. And it wasn't cosmetic. I had to pay extra to keep its integrity. Oh, well, with all that integrity, why don't you pay him back? Uh oh, Billy, I...
Oh, my Nikki. Oh, my love. Oh, how I've missed you. Hi, Mom. Is... Is Billy home? Uh, he should be back soon. Oh, great. Perfect. Did it give us a chance to catch up? What's in the bag? Oh, it's for you. Happy birthday. What's this? It's a Louis for your travels. I don't really travel. But you will. Someday. Cool. Uh, so, do you want anything? Some pomegranate juice? Sounds delightful. Thank you, love. So, how was school? Good. Well, how do you like it out here? It's nice. It never rains. I know you must miss your father as much as I do. Sometimes. I'm here for you. Are you going to send me to another boarding school? Well, I wish I knew you were coming. Would have baked you a cake. Oh, this is the greeting I get. But you look good. Charged. I'm a new person, Billy. Hey, Nikki, why don't you go inside for a minute, okay? I can play with my new Louie. So why aren't you happy to see me? I don't even know where to start with that. I was hoping we could all have a nice weekend together. I really wish that you hadn't come here. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Where's Miranda? Melissa? Oh, God. She left. Well, then you should be relieved I'm here. You can't do this all by yourself. Well, I'm doing it, Mom. OK? So please, just stay out of her way. Did you forget all the wonderful times we had together? Look at me. You were my prince. No, Mom, I haven't forgotten. But they were always followed by something else. And Nikki is not strong enough for that. She needs a stable environment. That might be the funniest thing that you've ever said. Oh, you, you always were such a spoiled little shit. You drove your father and me crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think you've mentioned that before, Mom. I don't know. I guess not everyone should have kids, huh? Well, you haven't changed. You're just lonely. Get this straight. I'm not leaving California without her. Well, you're going to love the winters out here, Mom. Very mild. I have to be honest with you, Billy. If your mom wants to take Nikki, you're going to be hard-pressed to stop her. I mean, doesn't it matter what Nikki wants? Unfortunately, no. She's the mother. You'll have to face child welfare. And after Nikki's incident, 
You're not gonna have a leg to stand on. No one has to mention that. All right, look, if, if she tries to pull something, can you help me? My hands are tied, Billy. I know how far you and Nikki have come, but if I'm put in front of child welfare, I will be bringing Dr. Hellman with me, and I will defer to him. And I think we're all done. Wow, you look hot. Really? <laughs> Ta-da. Wow. Is that me? It's either you or Cindy Crawford. Who? Oh, God, I'm getting old. <laughs> Happy birthday. This must be for you. So, you ready for this? <laughs> nice. Happy birthday, love, Billy. Can't wait to see what it is. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, a serious <laughs> artist should have some serious tools, don't you think? I love it. Thank you so you much. You got it. You got it. This is the best. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, I got it. Billy Presser? Yeah, that's me. You've been served. This is not a courtroom, and I'm not a judge. With your cooperation, we are going to try and determine the most suitable situation for Nikki. If either of you decide to take this matter to court, my recommendation will be considered. All right, let's get this over with. I want to hear both of your positions, but first, there are a couple of issues that are most concerning, the first being your drug use. Excuse me? Your mother found a marijuana cigarette at your house. Is that accurate? Yeah. It wasn't mine. Oh, come on, Billy. You were always a pothead. You're on drugs every single day of your life. I don't think that's the issue, well, Mr. Please. Press. No, 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 please, ask her how many pills she's already had today, you know, just for the record. They're prescriptions. I'm just trying to get a clear picture. All right. My friends came over, Nikki was at school, and they smoked a joint, okay? I'm sorry. So your friends do drugs at the house? Use drugs? No. No, they don't use drugs. So, I understand you spent money from Nikki's trust account. This is bullshit. You think I didn't know about the 7,500? Am I an idiot? I look at the statements. Yeah, and you look at the statement when I put the money back? I know you're out of work, but Nikki's money wasn't meant to subsidize your lifestyle. Is it really so hard for you to believe that we might actually just care about each other? This is a girl you wanted nothing to do with her entire life. I didn't even know her. I wanted nothing to do with you. Oh, I've tried so hard. <laughs> Can you believe how he treats me? What happens the next time she ends up in the hospital? I was grieving. It was a temporary situation. Six months is not temporary to a kid. She's mine. She's my daughter. You're a fucking lunatic. Please, everyone, calm down. Look, I'm, I'm aware of my issues, but I try. I have always tried. I've always tried to do the best I could for my children. Oh, uh, yeah? How do you figure that? I haven't always succeeded. Yeah. But I have Nikki under the care of the top psychiatrists on the East Coast. And you decided to play doctor and take her off of all of her meds. Yeah. And it was the best thing I could have done. She's flourished without them. She's doing well in a public school. She's got plenty of friends. She, she, she's talented. She's bright. She tried to kill herself. That is not true. Hold it a moment. What? I spoke with Dr. Hailman. She has problems you don't understand. Oh, God. You know, all I've ever heard about this kid is how fucked up she is. How no one can control her without Ritalin and Zoloft. When it turns out, all she needed was some attention, some affection, and a little goddamn encouragement. You don't have room in your life for a little girl. She's not a little girl. How the fuck are you gonna relate to her, huh? You bought the kid a, a $2,000 handbag for her birthday. I mean, get her something fun. She doesn't need a friend. She needs a parent. Oh, yeah? And what is that, Mom? Do you have any idea? Because every morning we get up, and we make breakfast. 
and we go to school, and we talk, and she comes home, and we do yoga, and she works on her homework or, 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 or her sketches, I mean, she's, she's unbelievable. And then we make dinner, and I put her to bed, and we get up, and we do the same thing again the next day. And what happens in a year or two if you decide you don't want this responsibility anymore? Look, I know what this looks like to you, but there's a side that you just don't see. I've lost my marriage. I don't have a minute to myself. And I've never been happier. And neither is Nikki. Please. If you take her away from me. Listen to me, punk. And listen good. One more false move out of you, and I'll make life on the street so... Highness? Heinous. What's it mean? It means really, really bad. I'll make life on the street so heinous, you'll wish you were back in the slammer. I'm trembling. What if Mom wins? I don't think that's in the script. I'm serious. That's not gonna happen. I might say the wrong thing. You can't say the wrong thing, all right? You just go in there, you answer their questions, and you be honest. If I have to go back to Long Island, that would be heinous. Mm. Mm. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Jesus Christ, you still audition? Yeah. Good luck, kid. Ding dong! Hey. <laughs> I got a bottle of 18-year-old single malt scotch and an offer that is gonna bring you back to life. I knew it. I knew I nailed it, man. It was one of those I could tell in the room. Oh. And thanks, buddy. Thank you for sticking with me on this. I told you we'd get something good. Please, with this mug, yeah. you can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. It's getting a little homoerotic. Right. Let's start drinking. Yes, please. Oh. So what do you think? These guys gonna meet my quote? Are you kidding me? Had a legal gave me herpes a few years ago. She's gonna meet your quote. <laughs> you are a killer, my friend. You're a hey, killer. Remind my wife about that. Yeah. And make sure your passport's current because you are heading to Vancouver on Sunday. I thought I shot here in LA. Who gives a shit? Tax credits. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, you're breaking up here for a second. Because I thought you said I can't, but that couldn't be from a guy who hasn't worked in two years. Look, I can't go to Vancouver for a month right now. You know that. Okay, I'm not going to let you give up on this role. I'm sorry, man. There's no way. I can't go. I didn't catch one word of that. You are going to go. You are going. I want to stay with my brother. Do you want to live with him because he's fun and lets you do whatever you want? He doesn't let me do whatever I want. I can't even eat Oreos. Have you ever seen your brother use drugs? I'm not a narc. I appreciate that. But please answer the question. He used to smoke pot, but now he doesn't. And it's not even a drug anyway. It's a plant. Interesting. Does it seem like he's trying to get a job? He got a job. But it's in Vancouver, so he's not taking it. Come on, man. Mind your business, would you? Relax. I'm here on your behalf. What? Yeah, I talked to Jacobs and I realized something, that Nikki's diagnosis can be debated, but your relationship should not. Just like that? Well, your mother came for a visit. Enough said. But you're a fancy PhD. I can Google too. You know, you've changed Nikki's uh, environment for the better, and she is doing well without her meds. But there are millions of kids who still 
you know, they're not as fortunate. I got you to put away your pen, though, huh? Yeah. You gonna help me out in there? I'm gonna do the best I can. How is your relationship with your mother? I don't know. How was the living situation with her? I didn't really live at home. Would you like to give it a try? A mother is so important for a young girl. Who are you? You don't even know us. <sighs> don't take that tone. I'm here to help. God, this is bullshit. I already told you I want to stay with my brother. Nothing else to say. Is that a real brisket? Or is it made of soy or something? No, grass fed, certified organic. This baby's the real deal. Are you gonna do a service or something? I'm pretty sure it's just a food fest. TV off, you Neanderthals. Dinner's ready. Come on, Nikki. Bottom of the night. Tie game. I said off. Now! That's my girl. OMG. Little tyrant. Let the Manischewitz flow. I got it. You guys just take a seat. Happy Passover, Billy. This is inappropriate. It's only a recommendation, Mom. I can still take you to court. You won't win. I just think you're making a terrible mistake. We need each other. You think that you need her. Oh. What I don't need is to discuss this with you anymore. Does anyone have to discuss it with me? Oh, honey. You're just a kid. I'm going to take you home. Jesus. I am home. For the first time in my life. He can't even take care of himself. You adopted me. You were very sad. But I couldn't make you happy. No. That's not true. Let me go. You're all I have left. I'm sorry. I have to do what I think's right. I'll be back in the morning. Mom. Mom. What would Dad want for her? Okay. 
You got a lot of shit for an 11 year old. I'm 12. Oh, yeah. Is it any good? <laughs> I think so. They did it for me. I taught you well. Okay, come on. Mom's waiting. <laughs> Promise to visit me? All the time. Trust me, you're gonna get sick of me. What if the kids pick on me at my new school? You know how to handle it. I'm scared. Hey. They're gonna be fine. You know, we were the family that never said the words, but I don't know what to say. You give her something I could never... Something I never had in me. You're still our mother. Your father would be so proud of you. are on your face again you're holding out the weight before the show for all the reasons that were wrong for you and now it's far away you have to go you say you want to leave behind the one that drew the line around your name if you try if you try you can surely find the same this is over If this is over
this is done I'm taking in the good before it's gone If this is over If this is how you pull away You can't hold on But something's wrong Hands behind your back again You're hiding out from where you need to go For all the reasons that are right for me Our end is near the only thing I know If this is over If this is done Walking from the good because it's gone If this is over If this is how you pull away I can't hold on But something